Schlag Mist. morning. I'm having tech issues this morning and that drink of coffee was so good because I came in, <laughs> I came upstairs, put the coffee down and then did my, you know, feed the cat, set up for the advents and wow, yeah, like three times as long as normal. It happens sometimes, it's just, it's inevitable. I'm probably gonna, my computer's probably gonna crash when I try to do my regular episode too. It just always seems to do that during Vlogmas, but whatever. It's day 10, hooray. So talk about tech issues. I just recorded a whole, you know, most of the intro. I, I kept part, parts of it for the in editing, but with the wrong microphone and the sound wasn't so great. Yeah, okay. So the cashmere treats, oh my goodness, they look so good together. I can't wait to show you tomorrow. I think that's going to be really, they're so beautiful. I I understand why people open all of them at once. Because once you get so far, you're just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. These are so pretty. I can't wait to open the rest. Um, but you know what? I, I look forward, like when I wake up in the morning, I look forward to opening those advents every morning. And it's such a... Oh, it makes me so happy. It's really great. If you've never done a, a yarn or fiber advent, I highly recommend it. <laughs> Get at least one. Like just save up and or ask for that for your birthday or holiday, like a holiday gift or something. It's really, really awesome. Yeah. Ooh. Also what I did last night, um, I, I I zoomed with a friend for a couple hours, so that was that was great. 
It was really wonderful catching up with her. She's retiring, and I'm so sad um, because she's been my my lunch companion every day that I'm on campus for the last 18 years. <laughs> so it's hard. It's hard to see her go, but it's good for her. She's she's um she's gonna pr she's gonna stick around New Jersey for the next year or two, and then uh, probably move. Um, up by Boston area because that's where her son lives and I get it I get it she only has one and she, yeah he's important she should be there so um, yeah and I may end up in Boston too because my son is probably gonna move there or may move there the one with the one of them I have three though so this is the problem uh, anyway that's a conversation for some other day and also a problem to solve in the far future because I don't have any plans to retire for a while I'm too too young I'd love it though man I would love it <laughs> I probably wouldn't love the financial part of it but it would be nice to be uh, footloose and fancy free how did I get down this rabbit hole Anyway, today, today, today I have a lot of meetings. I have uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays and Wednesday, all day Tuesday, all day Thursday, Wednesday afternoons are usually my meetings. And I usually keep Monday and Friday clear. Tomorrow, Friday though, I do have one afternoon meeting that'll be um, pretty cool. I will tell you about that tomorrow. Um, today, I have a bunch of student meetings and then I have a the, the meeting with the leadership at our university and we have a monthly meeting with them me and my senate fellow senators um yeah it's like our opportunity to both hear what's in the works and also tell them things that are most concerning to us and yeah so we'll see what happens oh my goodness i'm so looking forward to being off next week I have a couple fun things planned for you. Yeah, so, all right, that is about it for my day today. Um, as far as, oh, I didn't tell you about the spinning. I did a little bit of plying. I'm about a quarter of the way through plying that skein. It is, I'm gonna show you that. Actually, let me end this and then I'll, I'll um, film a little bit of that so you can, you can see it. Okay, there you go. You can get a pretty nice view of the um, the plied yarn right there. It's it's coming out so much thinner than I thought. So this is the two plies together. I thought it was going to be a um, heavy fingering weight. It, I I think it's probably more like a light fingering weight unless it unless it blooms when I soak it. I'm gonna just move back a little bit so you can see. All right. So those are the two bobbins. You can see that. Um, this one right here is starting to switch over to green, so it's gonna it's pulling from this side right now. Um, so I'll finish up that pink, and then it'll switch to green. And you can see a little peak of the neon underneath there. Um, so that this is the bobbin that I did two by two. This is a uh, one by one, so straight color. So I'm gonna have uh, pink for quite a bit longer on this, and then it's gonna switch over to the minty shades. Um, and then that should mix in. It should. It's going to be pretty cool, I think. I, I, I'm excited about this. So a little disappointed that I didn't get more thickness on the strand, but fine. I think it'll it'll be do. It's it's going to be knittable, of course. It's yarn. It's going to be knittable. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
idea. How did I not know about this before? I was watching Stacy of Stress Knits. Um, I was on her Instagram stories and she posted this, but it wasn't her. She, she was using yarn, not fiber. And I was just like, wow, that's a great idea because now I can see everything and I can see the path. Like I can, I can see how one color connected with the next. It's freaking awesome. So here you go. These are the first 10 days of fiber for Le Petit Potions. Yeah. So now I can keep clipping them. The second half over there is my, the ones, uh, my 12 day. So I'll have to figure that out and even them out so I can see all of these spread out nicely across the whole wall. Ta-da! <laughs> Savior home. 